Dun, 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 dun. Jasper, this video is for you. You can tell because it's got your name on it. Uh, vegetables is here to help as well. Jasper, you wanted to learn how to draw a sloth blowing out birthday candles, which is quite a few things because we have to draw a sloth and we have to draw the tree that it's in and we have to draw the birthday candles and we also have to put the we all also have to draw the cake that the candles are in unless they're magic candles and they're just sort of floating around. But Kaz and I went to a place where they teach you how to paint stuff, and guess what? We painted. We painted sloths. Oh, drop the sloth. Don't worry, he fell slowly. That's my sloth on the left, and Cassandra's sloth on the white. Right, white. The, the white. It's also on the white and the right. All we need to do now is use these as reference, and then we can draw a happy birthday sloth. Not sure. <laughs> Where to put them? One there, one there, I think. Okay, vegetables, he's going to leave. If I leave, I mean, I'm gonna run around. Ah! The sloths fell off again. Okay, the first thing we know about the sloths is they're hanging out of a tree, so we need a tree branch. I just drew a nice tree branch line, and it's found a little, little branch there. And we'll put some leaves on it. So let's start with the head. Nice round head, curved back, and long limbs. Probably a little long, but that's okay because this is our own slot. If you're sneaky, you can rub out the lines of the branch so the hand can go over top of it. And then a belly. Just a small one there. We need to draw a party hat on the sloth. And we'll draw the side of his cheek. And then we'll draw his hands. I'm sorry, no, his hands. We'll draw his arms and legs behind on the other side. Now, the next thing we want to do is to draw the face of the sloth. So we'll start with a nice round nose. And then if you notice, both of our slots have this kind of eye makeup on. <laughs> but they have these markings around their face. And they both come in from the side. And if you curve them a little bit, that makes the head look nice and round. Then we'll drop one of the slots on the floor. We'll add two eyes. And now we're just going to draw a big smiling mouth. Because sloths, as you know, are super happy all the time. And I, I like to put two little dimples or two little lines on the edges of the mouth. And now we need to add some spots and stripes to the party hat. <laughs> Happy birthday. Uh, oh, we forgot the cake. Okay, we might need to rub out the head of the sloth and then we're going to draw him blowing out some candles. <coughs> oh, oh dear. Oops, I just drew my own hand. So, we're gonna have him leaning back. Over. Oops, and then blowing out the candles. Okay, so I'm gonna draw his nose first. And his little mouth blowing out the candles. This is a little puff of air, and he's going to have his eyes closed because he's actually falling asleep. And then we draw the rest of his head, and then we draw the party hat falling off. And now, okay, now we need to draw the candles. I'm just going to move this over a bit. There he is. Oh, we forgot his eye markings. You've always got to wear your eye makeup. Now he looks more like a sloth. So now we need some birthday candles. One, two, three. Little wicks. And then, to show that the the air is going over the candles and they're getting blown out. We'll make the flames go this way and we'll add some little whoosh. And then we're going to draw the cake. Now I like to draw cakes with icing. Because I really like to draw, but getting to draw cakes is just the icing on the cake. That's not funny. Then we draw the bottom of the cake and we'll have the cake on a plate. The plate needs to be standing on something. So let's do that. That's Jeeves' arm. Jeeves has a very, very long arm. He's very, very tall. There you are, Jasper. A sloth blowing out some birthday candles. I'm assuming it's your birthday, so happy birthday, and um, I hope you enjoyed. Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> my, my recorded playing is so bad that Cass is choking on her food. <laughs> <laughs>